Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my apartment tour. So we just walked into the door, the main entrance. This is what you see when you first walk in. To the left, we have the wash and dryer, stackable, not much space in here, but we have a little bit of room to kind of put some mops and a broom in there. That's pretty much about it, but it's full size. Pretty good, smart, gets the job done. To the right of the door, we have this little entryway area right here with a mirror. This is pretty much all from Ikea. The mirror is from Ikea and these shoe storage units are also from Ikea. They're, these ignore the, <laughs> the shoes, but I got two of them side by side and I DIY them and painted them black just because I wanted that black look. This comes in white, but also that brown, black, wooden tones that Ikea has which I didn't love, so I just got the white ones and painted it with this, um, I think it was a satin paint from Home Depot. It came out pretty good, but I feel like the paint wasn't the best of the job because it has peeled down there, that little white spot, is because I think a box kind of took a piece off, so I have to fix that, but you know, from afar, it looks cute. So I just have this tray here that's from Amazon for the keys. Then we just have this little book right here with a candle. The candle is from CB2, uh, book is from Amazon, and this aloe plant from Ikea as well, which is supposed to be like good luck uh, financially wise, so that's why you have it next to the entryway. So that's pretty much it for the entry area right here. We have more stuff to go over there, but right now we're gonna do this area first. Let's start with the bedroom. So right here, I'm gonna block the windows because you know, safety. But I have my bedroom. Here is my bed with the bedding. I love this room, it's super cozy. It's just very minimal. It's just, I, I just love it. I have this Ikea mirror here. I used to have this outside in the living room, but I bought another one from Ikea as well. And I put this one in here, which I love because I get to get dressed my closet's right here we're gonna go there next but i get to get dressed in here and do my stuff so i have these nightstands again ikea <laughs> a lot of the stuff will be either ikea amazon or target in some way fair but mostly the first two so those lamps they're like a little dimmable it has three settings that's from amazon i also have a book right there that i'm gonna start reading soon my bed is from Pottery Barn. It's the rally bed. I'm going to have all the links down below for you guys, so don't fret. The bedding itself is also from Amazon, the entire thing pretty much. Uh, the canvas above the bed is DIY'd. It's just a frame that I had. I just painted it white and then I put some spackling on there so it can dry up so it kind of has some texture. As you can see if I zoom in, just pretty much textured. And then I painted over it, I think, with white paint from Michaels because it was a little bit yellow. So I wanted to be a little bit more on the white side. So that's what we have there. Another nice stand here from my boyfriend's side. Again, the lamp. It comes instead of two. It's pretty good for like 50 bucks. So that was a good deal. And then over here, we have the mom from Ikea as well, our dresser. I wanted the TV on the wall, but there was something going on behind the wall. We didn't want to mess it up, so we just kind of... We tried, but we just said, you know what, forget it, just leave it on top. So that's what we have right now. And then to the left, we have this olive tree right here, which I love. It's artificial, but I think it looks very nice. I have this planter pot from Lowe's and olive trees from Amazon. I want to have it a little bit higher, but I have to look for some things to stuff the, the planter pot with, which I haven't done that yet. So that's why it looks like that for now. But... Once I get that fixed, it might sit a little bit higher. I believe it's like a six foot olive tree. So it's pretty tall. I like it. It's very, just fits the vibe in the bedroom. But as you can see, the bedroom is very minimal. I just have this stuff in here and what you saw on this side as well. Then we're gonna go to the closet. We have these two little magnetic doors that could be annoying but also kind of convenient don't judge in here it's kind of a mess but this is my side i just have my jeans which i just put on hooks the other day these are like uh curtain hooks for the bathroom actually for my jeans because they were kind of folded up in hangers and it just looked ugly so i have them like this now and i like it very much i have a shoe rack there and then some stuff down here my nail little cart that i use for my diys 
And then up top here, I have just like some hats, some bags, and all of my other uh, pieces of clothing. Over here, I just have my perfumes, my boyfriend's colognes. We have matching trees from CB2. And we have them side by side just to kind of, you know, make it look a little aesthetic. Even though it's not the best, I guess, but you know. And right here, we have a hamper, Amazon, and then his side of the closet, which I also organize the jeans with the hooks, etc. And then shoes and stuff. These are my hangers. I have just extra ones because I get rid of all my pretty much all my clothes all the time so we just have a bunch of extra ones to use they're from Target but anyways that's the closet not much to see here I do have two baskets one here and one on this side for storage because we don't have much storage here besides this closet to be honest so we have some towels on his side and then I have like my bedding and stuff holding on my side and I'm leaving the bedroom and going to the bathroom on the lights so we have both these LED lights on the mirrors and then just a regular light that also has a fan so if you hear a noise that's what it is so we have double sinks which i enjoy very much because i get my own space he gets his own space and just a cute little arrangement in the middle these are my facial towels that i dry my face with every morning and every night because i don't use my personal towel since that carries bacteria so that's what i use i get them from amazon i also have another one of the cb2 trays in here as well as some like little pompous and like a vase that's from amazon and then this candle and like diffuser from target we also have cabinets down here which this is my side for all my products and stuff it's a little messy but let's show yeah i just have it looks messy because it's kind of small so i try to organize it in my little organizers but yeah as you can see it's not it's not the best right now i need to fix that and then he has his side which i won't show because that's his personal stuff and then right here we pretty much have like our the things that I use most often like toothbrush etc and then more stuff on the bottom this is pretty much like mine <laughs> and the bottom is for like extra stuff that we have these are soft clothing which i really like uh, i just don't really love this little thing right here because sometimes if you don't grab it properly that happens moving along we have obviously the toilet we have a little trash can from target there just got this drying mat from amazon it's the one that supposedly dries really fast and it actually does it's like a stone so it's hard and if i just put water on it it dries pretty quickly it was kind of pricey but i think it's actually been pretty worth it so far and then here we have the bathroom or like shower tub combination which i thought i was going to love but the execution of the design is not the best the thought was good the concept was good but the actual functionality of it sucks this mirror is so small that if i turn the shower on all of the water pretty much comes out to the floor so i had to get a curtain which i didn't want to do because i don't think it looks good at all and water still falls out sometimes and we had to also get a, a rod for the curtain and it's just like long here it's just a mess but you know make it work so um, this is what we have we have a tub which i haven't even used i think i used it once which is pretty pretty sad uh, to be honest i thought i was going to love this concept but because the shower is right next to the tub the tub always gets wet and dirty even though i never use it so i have to always wash it whenever i clean the bathroom so that's pretty obnoxious it's a little wet because i just showered a little while ago so don't mind that but then here i just have my little uh, products and stuff that's mine that's my boyfriend's and then we have this thing that i just got it's um a phone holder for the shower actually pretty cool because i get to wash my stuff in here without having my phone getting all wet oh what's going on there you go you can like flip it and it has like a little plastic sheet here so i thought it was pretty cool saw it on tiktok of course and it's from amazon because i used to put my phone right here and it would get all splattered so and that is it right now because it's supposed to be right here but it fell like the little sticky part of it fell off for some reason and i just got another one it's from amazon as well i like it though because when i have it here it's very convenient to kind of get the soap and just do my thing so yeah just you know holders because i don't have anywhere else to put it besides the corners of the tub and i didn't want to do that so that's what we have right now and it comes with hooks for you know my gloves and whatever you want to use it for I also have these little hooks for the razors very convenient for both of them so that is the bathroom or the shower portion so again everything literally the whole bathroom is from amazon the rod the everything the hooks same ones that i have in the closet for the pants pretty much everything and then just have towels over here but this is pretty much it 
there's not much else here just try to keep it very minimal so it's not super messy and it's not that wide it's just more so long so obviously i don't want to have a bunch of stuff i did have a black set of um like a long runner rug here and another one over there matching but it used to get so dirty because it's black and it was driving me insane so i just left it with nothing for now and i'm trying that one out which i think that's going to be a keeper because it's pretty good and then right here i think we're just gonna have to make do and leave it empty it looks kind of better anyways it's just not that comfortable but before moving on i'm gonna show you guys this because we have the main one in the hallway but these are kind of like motion sensor just like tap i used to have it so that it can turn on automatically whenever they sense motion but it got creepy at night because one time we were like laying down and the light just turned on and i'm like there's no motion happening so what the hell's going on so i took that off right now i just have it so i just tap it and turn on and off and this one is for the actual led lights but this has the again motion sensor you can dim lights etc i just have it so that it's just one tap and done because the dimming also kind of gets annoying it's also here in the in the bedroom which again i took all that stuff off because that was just creeping me out <laughs> but moving on we have this hallway before leading into the kitchen and the living room where i have another little like console area i have this from ikea i got the regular it's like a, it's called the besta but i got these doors so i could look a little more you know fancy it's like a credenza but at like a fraction of what you would pay at cb2 or like a crate and barrel but i think it still looks nice you tell me uh, so up here we just have this vase that i want to put something in it but i'm not sure what to put in there yet so that's why it's just empty that's from target and then we have these two books here from amazon heavy kind of expensive but i'm sure you've seen them before they're not new just your typical tom for books and then the architecture design one i just have a little candle burning right here and then some flowers i just have again another painting that's also diy it was a canvas we painted it white i told my boyfriend like go ahead and do what you want and make it look cute kind of like abstract art so this is what we have here and then i just got a little led light on top that i can turn on with the remote is that right now because i have to charge it but it's just to kind of give it that cool look at nighttime that's what we have here and in there we just kind of store stuff like everyday paper towels and all that kind of stuff because we don't have another storage space as you can see we have detergent toilet paper and like other things over here like paper towels and some other stuff so that's what this is serving for this is like the system that we have like i mentioned with the the light controls everything which is pretty cool you can turn on all the lights turn them off and set some scenes don't really use this that much honestly i just use it to, to like turn on the lights but i have it all on my phone uh with the alexa so it's pretty cool that we can we can do that this is the ac unit thing here and then moving on we have the living space this side table as well as the coffee table is from target i love them i think they're super cheap they're so nice this is the kivik uh, sofa from ikea it's just the one in gray we wanted to get for a different sofa however they were very expensive and we don't want to invest too much for an apartment that we didn't know if we we're going to move soon or not so we just got this one it's not the most comfortable i would say but it's not uncomfortable it was if it was a little bit deeper it would be it would be great but the fact that it's not that deep um doesn't make it as comfortable for laying down but because it's just the two of us and we have the chaise section it's fine right above it we have two canvases again with diy pretty much went to get them at michael's and just kind of put some uh, i think it was backling or i think it was joint compound one of the two for this one and again it has texture as well we just kind of did something something random just to kind of have something up there and be very minimal we have this lamp from target which it's like the curved type of lamp i really like it and the little pillows and all that stuff i think that throw is from target and then the rest are from amazon and we have this rug from wayfair this right here we just have some books like a chanel and tom ford books some coasters from target as well and some diptyque candles which i'm sorry but they're not worth it the price no not worth it at all this is like the one that i burned i have another one behind me which i haven't burned yet and i might not just because it's so expensive and the scent doesn't even last that long so i'm disappointed i don't think that <laughs> they're that worth it for the price 70 bucks for a candle is hefty and yeah it's just i'm underwhelmed but anyways right in front we have our tv thankfully we were able to put it on the wall because 
it looks much nicer like that and much sleeker so here we have another Vesta from Ikea except this one has like three compartments and we just have again stuff under stored in there like electronics and tools and all of that stuff and then some art supplies this is also storage for us since we don't have storage we just have like a little book here open this is a chanel book from amazon and then i have a little display stand for it as well that was cute and then we just have these two vases and the other candle that i mentioned right here i wanted to put like a little branch or something here but kind of didn't really go at least the one that i found so right now they're empty but i might fix that up later right next to it we have our bar area this bar cart that we got from amazon is very tall very sturdy actually it has a lot of you know sections going on we have all of our cups like our wine glasses we have some alcohol there they do have some wine holders like for the bottles we just don't have any right now because we ran out and then we have some more stuff here also got this little uh, shaker kit from amazon and we have this frame that frame is from ikea and the actual art is from this website called pstr studio i think they're overseas and they actually have a lot of cool art so we got this one just because it kind of went with the decor and it just kind of fit the vibes so that's what we have here and we got this little decanter from uh cb2 which is not the best because this doesn't really like stay there's marbles but we don't really touch it that much so it's fine we just kind of let it let it be and do its thing moving on over here we have my mirror where i film most of my content nowadays i just kind of just stand here do my thing and we have this little vase from target some pompous grass that i got from amazon and just have that in the corner i was thinking about doing something else in this space because it's like a wider space so i feel like it's not filled as it should but for now i'm just like you know what it's fine just let it be and later on i'll figure it out this mirror right here is from ikea this is the new mirror that they have it comes in black now same one that i have in the bedroom and as soon as they came out which was a couple of weeks ago in the black color snagged it because it looks so much better like this it goes with the decor so that's that so moving on to the kitchen this is the kitchen area here we have an island and we have our two little bar stools that we used to have in our previous apartment i have this this like bowl here that i have had for like a while some cb2 let's kind of keep it there empty doing its thing and trash can over here we just have a little wine cooler which is pretty cool that i just came with this we have three pull-out drawers, which I was thankful for because we don't have storage here. I just where I keep all utensils and like seasonings and other things on there. Because as you can see, we only have that and that's it. There's no other cabinet space, nothing else except for what we have on the bottom. And it's very minimal. So from this side, we just have our dishwasher, a toaster, the sink. Pretty standard. We have... A window which i'm i love because it lets some light inside which i've never really had that in the kitchen usually it's just kind of dim and dark but this is very nice uh we just have soap dispenser paper towel stuff the alexa there so i can you know put my timers and things then we just have a little bowl which i keep my fruits or whatever i have at the moment right now i just have a yucca root <laughs> that i have to make so that's why it looks kind of awkward there it's just super long and over here we have um our knife set slash magnetic holder it's from amazon it's pretty cool you just pull and then this just kind of like ooh, like to have it straight the knife set was actually from from costco which is a cuisine art uh, like a set of five that's what we have there then we have some olive oil dispenser with a little salt dispenser here and up here the apartment comes with these two shelving uh units so we just have some like cups up there I have that fake plant from CB2 and then those two are from Crate and Barrel. The rest are I think are from Amazon and I think that was from like Home Goods. Over here we just have a like a board. I just have it for decor. Don't really use it. It's just much for decoration. And then we have just our utensils over here. So my camera died earlier. That is why right now it looks a little different. The sun is setting currently. But moving along, we were in the kitchen. I was just showing you guys the top of like the stove. Uh, the utensils and stuff i don't think i showed you guys the cabinets down here just you know more so supplies it looks a little messy but it's like my organized mess so i can know where everything is and i try to make use of the space properly 
over here we just have like some kitchen gadgets and like oil vinegar etc here we have just the pots we have a little pot organizer back there that i got from amazon as well and one down here and i have some stuff that's dirty so that's why it's not uh, in there and on this side we just have some a blender some cutting boards and then just my bowls that's kind of what i keep down there not much room as you can tell there's no other cabinet space for anything else so I had to purge some things then we have the fridge here but above the fridge we just have all of our like tupperware on both sides over here and then off to the right of the fridge we have our pantry and our only storage so over here they actually put the microwave in here which i don't love because that gets rid of an extra space that we can use but up here we have my air fryer paper plates just my plates over here and microwave vitamins and like this kind of stuff clean wrap etc then down here we just have our actual food we have some pull-out drawers and i try to organize everything more or less you know so it could be a little bit put together and then down here i just have all of my organizers with like my pastas flour and like other stuff like that so that's pretty much what we have here going on it's not the cutest as far as like far away you can't really see like it doesn't look that cute but it's functional it's fine this is kind of like a push to open so it doesn't have any handles the only handle that i have is right there and that's that in the fridge don't think i have much to show it's a little messy so yeah this is what it looks like <laughs> Not much to go through there, just, just food and random stuff. And then we have the freezer down there. So that's pretty much that for the kitchen. It's just very minimal, not much. I mean, there's not much room, so not much else to show. And to the right of the kitchen, we have the den. So this is kind of like a little extra room. It's not as big as we thought it was going to be, but it's pretty good for us, especially because we work from home. We have a sliding barn door here, and this is what the den looks like. So we just have two desks in here. One for me, this is my side, and my boyfriend's side is right here with his monitors and stuff. So we have more frames. This one, I think he got it from Etsy, and the frame is the same one that we have outside on top of the bar cart, also from Ikea. The desks are also from Ikea. They're kind of like this beige color and then the legs are black that's how they come they're pretty expensive and they're pretty good very uh, i think they're like 47 by 30 something like that so that's why they're, they're very deep it's pretty good for working because the monitor is not like right in your face and we have this another little like vesta from ikea for another like set of storage things we can just keep some like junk in there i have a faux plant in here from amazon and this little planter pot is from CB2. I thought it was going to be bigger, but it turned out to be super small. So I just put it in here with this. I have my little step stool back there because I can't read stuff. And then we have two other pieces from the PSCR Studio website that I showed you guys with the bar card piece. The frame again is the same one from Ikea. And then we just have new art right here, which we thought looked nice and kind of fit with the space. That white thing just came with the apartment. We couldn't get rid of it because when we opened it up, there was like a hole there. So we're not sure what's going on and why that's there, but we can't really take it off. So that's why it's there and looks like that, which was bothering me for a long time because that's just ugly. But, you know, we're going to just pretend like it's not there. And that's pretty much it. This wall is empty, not much here. And then I just have the vacuum in here because we have nowhere else to put it. So we just keep it in this corner. Plus, it's easy to access when I have to go vacuum. Uh, the kitchen which gets the dirtiest etc so this is pretty much the little den where most of the time is spent in here working that is it for the den and that's pretty much it for the apartment all right you guys so that was pretty much it for my apartment tour i hope you enjoyed it like i said i'm going to have all the links down below for you guys and i'm going to categorize them by room to make it easier for you guys as you saw i live in a one one with a den but it doesn't feel like a one bedroom apartment because of the hallway this kind of separation between the spaces which makes it feel like it's a bigger apartment than what it actually is which i very much enjoy that a lot of light also comes in in, in the living room and the kitchen which again i really enjoy because it makes the space just feel vibrant and 
open and it just makes me feel like happy especially living in florida where we get sun all the time it's really enjoyable to kind of just wake up and just get you know some sunlight in the house i've been living here for about six seven months now and it took a little while to get everything together because i'm either thinking about it too much or something comes in i have to return it was a whole lot of that at the beginning but thankfully we're pretty much at that point where everything's pretty much settled and if i have to add a few more pieces here and there that would just be done like as i go so with that being said thank you for joining me in my home today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video bye